Back on our show, it's good to have uh, Jennifer Cahill with us from uh, Clico, going to tell us about this uh, bill payment scam that's been making the rounds recently, and um, people need to be aware of it. Right. Um, scammers are contacting Clico customers mm -hmm. and dema demanding immediate bill payment or face immediate power disconnection. Right. And so this has been going on for, what, several weeks across the area, right. if not a month or so? Right, yeah. it has. And um, we just want to remind our customers that we will never contact them and demand payment. Right. Uh, secondly, we would never call and suggest a method of payment, nor would we tell them where to go to make the payment. So those are important things for our customers to yeah, remember. three points to kind of remember. Uh, and you know, it's nice <coughs> that your customers are becoming more and more savvy to the scammers because they are trying to scam people, obviously, out of their money in any imaginable way that they can. Right, and they're, they're always kind of one step ahead. So, mm -hmm. and like you said, they've become very creative, very sophisticated. So um, it's important for our customers to remember that if they receive a call that they believe to be fraudulent, to simply hang up. Mm -hmm. right. And then if they have questions about their account, they can log on to their My Account, which is Clico's free online program, mm -hmm. and look up their account information. They can call a Clico service representative, or they can um, visit a service center to, to get the most up-to-date information on their account. But I'll tell you another really important thing is to report this information. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was reported to Clico, so then in turn, you know how to get, go out and tell the community, this is going on, we know this is going on, Beware. Right, and we're, we're working with the law enforcement officials mm -hmm. and we work with them consistently So it's, it, on an ongoing basis. So, um, but we're, we're trying, we try to get ahead of it and you know, just try to consistently remind our customers to, to be aware because again, they're, they're creative. They'll call, they'll leave a callback number and when you call that number back, you could assume that it's, it's an actual business, an actual service yeah, center. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're very, very good. Sophisticated. Yeah. Right. And Clico will never call <laughs> demanding payment. Right. No, that's, that's not our protocol. That's so. a red flag right there. Absolutely. So yeah. again, um, just make sure that if you do believe that you're receiving a fraudulent call, just to simply hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. That is good, good advice. It's cold outside. Yes, it is. <laughs> a lot of folks are looking for ways to maybe lower some of the costs that they're going to um, have this month. Right, and uh, if you visit our website at Clico.com, we have a lot of tips on how to conserve energy and, and stay warm this winter. So we definitely encourage our customers to, to log on to our website. And certainly also to stay safe. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jennifer, thanks for coming. People need to be made aware of this bill payment scam. Right. Uh, just, uh, just hang on. Use some common sense. Yeah, and thanks for helping us get the word out there. I mean, sure. it's it's something that's been happening, you know, for several years, and they it kind of peaks, and then it, mm -hmm. it dies down a little bit, and then they come back. So we just want to remind everyone to stay vigilant. Terrific. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. you. Thanks for coming. More to come. We're going to visit with Doug Gann in just a minute, but first, our community calendar.